Am I the arsehole? For not ending my vacation early and rushing home for the birth of our grandchild? I 52 meters and my wife were on a two-week vacation in Cancun, Mexico. Were from the US and planned all year for this trip, and saved up money to be able to go on this trip. Edit we booked and paid before my daughter was pregnant. It was our sixth day there when our daughter 26 boyfriend called us saying she was giving birth and we had to get on the next plane ride home. We were aware my daughter was soon to pop, but her due date wasn't until the end of this month, mind you these events took place in the beginning of this month. We told him that was impossible, and just to follow their birthing plan and to keep us updated. A few hours later we got a call from my daughter updating us then asking when we'd be on our way back and that she really wanted us to be here and that it was taken longer than expected, she was scared, etc. She's a first time mom so it was expected for her to be scared. My wife and I assured her everything would be fine, but we were unable to just pack up and go. She got upset and hung up on me. Hours later in the middle of the night we missed a call due to us sleeping and it was her boyfriend saying there was complications and they were performing emergency C-section. The next morning we called immediately and our daughter told us she was scared and things could have went bad and our Cancun trip was more important to us than her, then hung up. We tried to call back but she wouldn't answer. The baby was born healthy and our daughter is okay. We have only seen pictures of our grandchild through Facebook because our daughter hasn't let us see her and has barely spoke to us since we've been back home. We had planned to be there for our grandchild's birth, but we couldn't leave six days into a trip we spent a large amount of money on. Even if we did we wouldn't make it back on time. Even if we did make it back we couldn't do anything the doctors couldn't in the situation. I feel as though our daughter is being too harsh to us. We have apologized many of times. Not the asshole you can't just rush home from another country, and if you had, same day tickets would have been astronomical. I take it your daughter is mad, but it was a no-win situation. You planned the trip way ahead, and you could not just rush home because traveling from another country doesn't work that way. Also there are still COVID procedures in place, so chances are the nurses would have sent you home. I'm confused. Do people normally expect the grandparents to be witness to their grandchildren's birth? I personally never heard experienced this around me. Weird. I wouldn't even expect my dad to be there and I love him to death. Not the asshole? I'd whatever floats people boats I guess. Not the asshole. But I don't understand why neither of you compromised with taking shifts on a video call to give your daughter support. Being on vacation doesn't mean you had to completely bail and fall asleep on her. It's completely understandable you weren't able to be there physically, but I don't understand the complete lack of effort to provide emotional support with a video chat. I can understand why your daughter is hurt and offended that you both didn't even bother to stay awake for a phone call. Nah but actions have consequences, it doesn't matter if internet strangers reassure you of your decision your very real daughter has equally valid feelings and can choose to act accordingly. If she doesn't want to see you and needs space then don't insist on violating that, maybe go on another vacation since you seem to care about those just as much. I think way too many people are fixated on the fact that the couple couldn't physically be there. I guess, though I personally wouldn't be okay with that, I can understand. But why did you all check out emotionally? Whose parents in their right mind, knowing their daughter was scared and in labor, would happily go to sleep and sleep through calls? I would be up all niggant, calling, waiting for updates, being a part of it, albeit from far away. Unbelievable. You're the asshole, you're the asshole, you're the asshole. Every time. I mean, nah but you've chosen what's important to you. Your daughter has clearly communicated how your actions made her feel. Now you are suffering the effects of those choices, but you didn't prioritize her so you can't expect her to prioritize you. You made your bed here. Nah except for the fact that you missed the call when there were complications. You knew she was in labor, you should have kept a phone on just in case something happened. It's understandable that she'd feel hurt though. Nah, 
You had booked the trip far enough in advance and couldn't have foreseen this situation arising, but your daughter also isn't an asshole for being terrified and wanting her parents by her side considering the circumstances. I'm sorry you were stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Why does it matter what the internet thinks when your daughter thinks you're an asshole? Instead of posting this to validate yourself just go and make amends with her. You're the asshole for not even trying. Your daughter was scared. I know plenty of first-time birthers that wanted their parents there because it's scary. You could have stayed on the phone with your daughter, or FaceTimed Google meeted her. You could have looked to see if there were any flights out that you could have taken. I'm sure the lack of effort hurt her more than y'all not being there. Being a parent doesn't end when they grow up. It's a lifelong commitment. It's really easy to see who never gave birth here in the comments. You're the asshole, who goes on vacation in the weeks to their daughter's labor. There was no way to reschedule? I hope your daughter will be a better parent than her parents are. Lots of comments here that don't realize that an emergency C-section one month early means serious complications, not just like normal birth stuff. Nah. Did you talk to them before about what you'd do if she went into labor early? If not they may have assumed that you'd be coming back especially if the plan was for you either of you to be in the room. If you can, try to talk to your daughter, acknowledge that you know it was a scary time for her, but the baby's father BF was there and you had planned this for a while. She may need more time. I wouldn't have expected anyone to come home early from a vacation, but your daughter may have had different expectations. All else aside, you're the asshole for missing the call at night when you knew that she was in labor, it was taking longer than expected, and she was scared and wanted you there. You should have been expecting another call with an update ETA you had explicitly asked to be kept updated and you should have had phones on maximum volume. Connected to megaphones. I don't think the rest is unreasonable, but she would have felt so unimportant to you between that call and the next morning's call back. You knew that it was that month. Due dates are only a suggestion they can be early, or late so there is a real possibility of it happening whenever. You aren't the asshole for being unable to make it back in time, if that was my grandchild I know I would want to be there. But the fact of the matter is things could have been bad and you weren't there. Good luck trying to make it through the hurt feelings because it could be a very long time before you are able to see your grandchild. Info I know you planned the trip before you even found out she was couldn't you adjust the date when you found out she was pregnant to either sooner or after? Most places, with that much advanced warning, are able to adjust dates. Was your phones not where you could hear them and wake up? Even if no emergencies happened, surely the parental thing to do is keep the phones as loud as possible to be able to be reached? Okay you decided to book a holiday near your own daughter's due date with her first baby? Guess you are the butthole.